hello guys in this video we will discuss the topic of drainage and uh, we know that drainage means the removal of uh, excess water from a uh, given uh, place uh, and we have two types of uh, uh, drainage uh, one is land drainage and the field drainage uh, in land drainage uh, you can say th uh, this is the large scale drainage where the objective is to drain the a surplus water from large area uh, you can say by such means as excavating large open drains uh, erecting dikes and levees and pumping so such schemes are necessary in low lying areas and mainly in civil engineering works and then we have the uh, field drainage which is of our in, uh, 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 in in our current topic we will discuss the field uh, drainage uh, in the field drainage we have further uh, two types uh, surface drainage and subsurface drainage we will discuss both of them so the field drainage this is a uh, drainage that concerns us in agriculture and it is the removal of excess excess water from the root zone of crops so the benefits of drainage these are the benefits of drainage it provides better soil environment high infiltration capacity promotes increased leaching hastening the warming of soils in well drainage less time and less labor are required for tile operation these are the problems or effects of ill drainage then you have components of drainage system we provide these outlets these are the collector drains main drain, main drains types of drainage sub uh, surface drainage open, we call it open drain subsurface drainage uh, uh, closed drain or and the third is bio drain but we'll mainly focus on these two types surface drainage system it's a system of drainage measures such as open drains and land forming to prevent ponding by diverting excess surface water to collector to a collector drain so basically you provide the collector drain at the sides and then uh, make the ground in such a way that the water cannot be ponded on its surface and it uh, has a very easy uh, path so that the collector drain can collect the water its applications are primarily on flat land where the slow infiltration low permeability restricting obviously when we have a low or slow infiltration the drainage will be uh, the water will be uh, ponded on the on the surface so we have to provide the collector drain so that uh, the water can easily be moved from that uh, <coughs> surf, uh, surface types of surface surface drainage systems we have render drain system parallel field drain system parallel open ditch system and bedding system these are explained here with uh, pictorial views subsurface drainage system the removal and the safe disposal of excess water that has already entered the soil profile is considered subsurface drainage a subsurface drainage system is a man made system that induces excess water and dissolved salt to flow through the soil to pipe or open drains from where it can be evacuated those several sub, uh, subsurface systems are available the most commonly used and the effective ones are tile drainage and mold drainage these are the details of the tile drainage system then in tile drainage we have random system this is a layout of the random system herringbone system in which uh, uh, this system is applicable where the main or sub main is located in a narrow depre depression this is a layout of the herringbone system then the grid drawn as a parallel system these systems are similar to that of the herringbone system except the lateral enter the main or the sub main from only one side we will discuss these uh, uh, topics in detail in our coming lectures then we have the interceptors and the lastly we have the mold drainage system is a semi permanent method of subsurface drainage similar to the tile drainage in layout and operation instead of permanent tiles a continuous circular mold mold drain is prepared below the ground surface in the soil in the in the soil profile at desired depth and spacing using a sp special implement known as mole plug and these are its dimension the depth and the diameter all the details 
for this mold. This is how the mold drain is provided and it is applicable for 10 to 15 years. Bio drainage, uh, in this method drainage quick growing plants which transpire at a very high rate or grow in the marshy areas to drain them out. Uh, euc euc eucalyptus is one of the plants which has been in Australia for this purpose in India. Uh, this plant become more popular uh, become popular because of its quick growing characteristics and is replacing the old plantation over large area so this is what we will uh, uh, we learn in this uh, drainage topic and we cover the uh, that what the drainage is uh, what are the main types and uh, what is the subsurface and the subsurface drainage and then their further uh, types we are we, dis we will discuss in the in our in incoming lectures so till now thank you so much